Hola. I'm you by the husband and whew, let me tell you, I've had my ups and downs for the past week. So I got unscripted by one Felix Reality. I made a graphic novel. And I've got to tell you, I love it. Oh my gosh. The spine, everything. And it's such a cute size. It's like um, five by eight. It's so cute. I did this. I made a graphic novel. So that was my up for the week. Like I had this printed off before Kickstarter even gave me my funds. Cause I did a Kickstarter for Unscripted issue five in volume one. I was on the ball. I was on the ball. But then I woke up to Amazon sending me an email that they didn't approve it. So I kept making change after change after change and then accepting the proof and they're still rejecting it and I even got help and the guy told me that um, my captions were too low um, because Felix, he's from Dublin so sometimes I do Irish slang and like I'll write something down here so he said that was like too low, close to like their cutoff line or something. So I changed it. So the new thing is like really close to the panels now. And then he also said, um, sometimes my word balloons go out of the panels and that may be close to the line. So there's nothing I can really do about that <laughs> because I don't have the energy to go change all that stuff because I'm a traditional artist everything was inked on paper and if I change all those word balloons because I do have a habit of going out of the panels so if I change all those word balloons like that's too much and then I'd have to recolor everything and I'm not doing that just for Amazon to pop uh, to possibly just reject it again. So, I guess I'm the only person <laughs> that's ever going to see this version of Unscripted. I just knew that I did everything right. It's so pretty. None of the artwork is cut off. Like, it's so pretty. And he was also saying like stuff like that they consider it art even though like whenever you do a bleed of course your artwork is going to go over the line and of course you expect some art to get cut off like that's the whole point of a bleed I thought but they're making it seem like no it has to be there I guess and like with my um I did a cover gallery as well. So I guess like, cause it's all one page, they're saying that's artwork, like with her. And it's like, no, you can definitely cut it off. Like, oh my gosh, why are y'all making it so difficult? But it is all good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The first couple of days, like, I did cry myself to sleep. Because I feel like I really want to be an artist. And I feel like I get signs from, like, the universe. Like, yes, do this, do this. But then when I do it, like, the plans ultimately fail. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Or if it's, like, a test from the universe. Like, when you really want something, you have to fight for it. I don't know, but... I did have my sad moments. 
And I did cry myself to sleep a couple nights, but then I was like, okay, I got to regroup. And I did. And I refocused. So, I will go through Comics Wellspring. And instead of it being 5 by 8 it's going to be a regular um, comic size for my trade paperback. And I am looking forward to that. I was just going through Amazon so it could be print on demand. That way I only needed to buy um, the specific amount for my backers. Instead of having like um, extra that I have to do. Because I'm adamant. <laughs> I don't want inventory in my room. But it's all good. Um, I have good news. I am teaching a comic diary class through Push Pull Seattle, so that will help me buy volume one that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Cause I did a um I did like a test thing on Comics Well Spring to see if their prices went up. And it looks like it's the same. So it looks like it'll be three hundred and fifty six. To have 25 of these and then whatever um shipping will be and on that one i should probably buy gemini mailers because i am low <laughs> but my reasoning for doing it this way of the paperback is i was trying to eliminate inventory lower my costs because <laughs> um buying these like uh Author copies on Amazon is cheaper than paying three hundred fifty nine <laughs> for twenty five copies. But what else was I talking about? Oh my gosh, I just had a brain fart. Oh my gosh, like long COVID is no joke. Like I be having brain farts all the time or brain fog, whatever they call it. <laughs> oh my gosh I forgot what I was saying oh yeah okay and another reason why I was trying to make it this is to lower the cost for shipping for my readers because I feel like this there's no ads in it or anything since it wasn't through Comics Wellspring I don't have their ad in the um, book at all and it's a paperback technically so I could have used media mail and just did it in a regular mailer instead of doing Gemini mailers that definitely look like they're comics because four dollars against six or ten dollars sounds pretty good for shipping so that was the main reason that I was trying to do it but I tried and that's all you can do and like I said I will be the only one with this version because Amazon is just not working for me and it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. This is so cool. And you know what? I did um I did do an actual a real unboxing video when I got this and it was so lovely and I had my hopes up and I was saying everything I planned to do but then when all that stuff fell through I'm like I'm not going to post that because that's depressing so this is my new I guess technically unboxing video but it was pretty cool to have that what if scenario it's just so cool, I'm telling you. But I am excited. Um, I already sent in an order for Unscripted 5. So hopefully I will get those comics soon. And there's two backers that wanted the volume one as well. So there will be two other people besides me. Oh yeah, and there was... Two people that did um that did digital unscripted volume one. So there are six people that have read the full version. Yay! I will get there, you guys. I will have 
my final graphic novel in my hands. Oh, I've had a dream of this since 2016, but I'm going to end on that note. Be positive, you ought to be positive. But if anyone has any idea why the universe is doing this to me, you can leave a comment down below if you're into that spirit oh, spiritual stuff. Out of my brain's all over the place. <laughs> but if you like this um, video, please hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>